He's an animal trainer, television host, and documentary producer. With us now is Dave Salmoni here at the SPCA Golf Tournament. So Dave, can you just tell us about your latest work? I did uh, a documentary that took about two years to make, which was called Deadly Islands, which was five of the world's most remote islands. Each one of those islands had its own little mystery going on. Uh, and that was a lot of fun, did very well. Uh, a new thing just came out that I did with Discovery Channel and it's called Brothers in Blood. And it was a 16 year documentary, documenting six young lions as they form a coalition, take over a bunch of territories, you know, eventually end up fight, inner fighting and losing their, their pride. pride. Yeah, anyways, it was, a, it was a fun sort of, I was more of an expert on that one and yeah, most Great. recent one. Do you, do you get attached to some of your projects like this? You do. You get, a, you get attached to the animals involved with them. You get attached to being there. So a lot of my projects, you sort of take 10 of your favorite people, you put them in a tent, and you go off to some remote area, and you hang there until you've done the show. So in those cases, you sort of you get attached to the people you're with, but on top of that, the subjects that you're, you're filming. The actual filming process, the actual making, the editing, the, it's not as much my passion. I like to do it and I like it to look good and I like people when it goes home for people to enjoy it, but the passion's far more in the making of it. I can understand that. We, we have to edit quite a bit of stuff, let okay. me tell you. Uh, so just tell us, how did you gain your skills as an animal trainer? Well, I did my first degree in Ontario, and it was in zoology, and loved it. But the more the more successful I got in academia, the less I, time I spent with animals. So I decided, heck, I'm going to give this up, and I want to actually work with animals, hands-on. So the only place I knew to do that was at a zoo. I went to a zoo to do research, and instead of research, the uh, place was very big into animal training. The, the place that I applied for a job at, they believe that the animal's biggest problem in captivity is boredom, so taking them out of their cages and showing them new things, showing, you know, giving them exercise, that kind of stuff, was far more healthy for their brain and body. I bought into that, and the way to do that was become an animal trainer. What, what are some tips you have for people at home who are trying to just train their domestic dog? I know you've done tigers and yes. all sorts of wonderful big things, but give us some dog training tips, just some simple ones. I would say my number one rule is if it eats, it can be trained. So you got to find the best treat. You take 10 of your best treats at the store, then take 10 of your best treats at home in your own kitchen and feed them randomly to your dog and see which one the dog is desperate for. Once you've found his perfect treat, everything else becomes easy because most of the time it's motivation. You want to motivate the animal into saying, I would really like to sit for you or lay down for you or stop barking for you. And the best way to do that is give him his favorite treat in the world. So if you can't find it, cheese. Very cheap, inexpensive cheese is, I find works for every dog.